the way that I dealt with the envy, because it's time. It's time to talk about Byron Katie and her work called The Work. <laughs> she is so terrific. And first of all, let me back up and state that my dose of envy looked like, I couldn't believe it. But the thing was that I've seen this pattern with me before. So, and the shame that comes up around it, one of the things that I looked in the research, I found out that envy is the one emotion that we are just not interested in talking about. There's um, an article, which I'll put the link to in the show notes, uh, that appeared in Forbes about envy and feelings of inferiority. And um, I'm just going to read you this one section. The anthropologist George W. Foster asked, why is it that people are able to admit feelings of guilt, shame, pride, greed, and even anger without loss of self-esteem? But that it's almost impossible to admit to feelings of envy. Foster offered the following explanation. Anyone who admits to themselves and others that they are envious is also admitting that they feel inferior. It is for precisely this reason that it is so difficult to acknowledge and accept one's own envy. In recognizing envy in himself, person is acknowledging inferiority with respect to another. He measures himself against someone else and finds himself wanting. It is, I think, this implied admission of inferiority rather than the admission of envy that is so difficult for us to accept. Okay, totally get it. Because when that comparison comes up, as we know from Brene Brown, that it's actually about um, be like everyone else because you're comparing, but be better. That's definitely that comparison is something that we do. The bad news is, guess what? It happens. And we make it such that it's not something that like it says, she says on page 24 in the Atlas of the Heart, which is, you know, my favorite Bible to go to <laughs> when it comes to emotions. So the bad news is it's that our hard wiring makes us default to comparison. It seems to happen to us rather than be our choice. The good news is we get to choose how it's going to affect us. Okay, so she laid that all out for us. There we are. We can't not do comparison.